For the purposes of this video, we will be using the Fair Use Act. Thank you. Have you ever been blackballed or rejected or blocked? Hi, welcome to Religion Link TV, where my spiritual ears stay. Guys, listen. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Blockity Block 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 The Cheap Corner Stone. Yeah, we're gonna get into it today. I'm gonna talk to y'all about rejection and why I love it so much. Because when some people think they are hurting you, it's actually God helping you. Stay tuned if you want to learn how to be free from rejection or free from being blocked. And I'm going to share a couple of stories with you. I have, I was blocked by wickedness seated in high places. Alright, so with that being said, enjoy this video. But before you do, have a heart, right? It's called Psalms 51 and 10. It says, create in me a pure heart and a new and right spirit. So, hit that subscribe button down below, that red box, and the bell icon next to it, so you could be a part of the notification gang over here in the Wink Squad, because we're Wink Stars, and we are definitely shining our light so bright, it's pissing some people off in this world, and I love it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's talk about it. Let's put it all out there. Family could be the first people in your life, the first signs of offense that will block you, or I should say defense. Yeah, because they're defending you from being called and doing the call of the, the will of God, or if it's your job, being the best parent, the best wife, husband, child, whatever it is, family will reject you, family will blackball you. Family will cause you to lose some things in this life. But count it all joy. Because God said what the enemy uses to hurt you, he'll turn it around oh, for your hey, good. Welcome back. So is it adding up how family can be someone who rejects you, uh, sets you up in life, uh, snare you? But before we go any further, don't forget your Bible and your teacup. So yeah, family, family, family. I told y'all in 1989, 1988 actually, my cousin, we'll just call her Brandy. My cousin, she set me up. I was 19 years old and she stole some baby clothes and she ran to my house. I was eight and a half months pregnant, selling drugs. And um, we all can change. There's nothing wrong with that. People hate the fact that you they're still doing what you used to do. So that's another reason why they would reject you and blackball you and hate on you. Especially if you have some of the spirit of God a word in you and just choose to live your life pure. You know, you make mistakes, but it's still pure, you know. So she sent the police signed statements on me, y'all sealed indictment they bum rushed my house july 19th 1988 and here we are today right me sharing my testimony so somebody out there can overcome because people have set snares and traps for you that's why god says be not ignorant of satan's devices lest he gain advantage on you how many people are trying to gain advantage on you in this world today in your family on the job Oh, let's move forward. I have a lot to share with you all. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move into number two. And don't act like you don't have a clue. Co-workers have became a big part of a lot of people's problems in life and on social media again i consider anybody on any platform my equal my co-worker i haven't met one person online that considers me a friend or that i prefer to be friends with at this point in time um i've sat back and watched you all and you all sat back and watched me that's on facebook instagram twitter and now youtube 
but co-workers can set snares and traps and blackball you and cause you to lose your inheritances and we'll get right into that story All shortly right, so here we go again back in august of 2008 i worked for this agency i just got fired from right i had been a nurse no more than three years um so when i say i lost my job this isn't my first rodeo with this organization actually it's my third so it was kind of weird to me that they would fire me but let me set up the 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 backdrop so you understand I never mentioned the fact in 2008 and 2014 when I worked for this company that I was a recipient of Section 8, which is a federal HUD housing governmental assistant program, right? And um, so there was no pressure to cause me to lose my job looking back in hindsight. But this time around June of 2018, I got rehired again, so there was no problem with my work, right? Let's just be real here, right? But the person who used to be the receptionist back in 2014 is now the manager, a black chick. She's the office branch manager. Thought we were cool and everything. So this time around, I shared with the enemy that if I stay on my job for one year, I will receive over 15000 and some odd dollars then because how HUD, how housing work, if you're a part of the Family Self-Sufficiency Program, if you start working, if you're not working, your rent can be zero. That's absolutely true. We'll talk about this more in another video. But if you're working anywhere from 100 to eight nine hundred dollars you may have to pay depending on what's 30 percent of your income right so um the enemy knew this and the enemy was aware of this so from day one the enemy was pleased with my work had no problem every time i was asked to do something i found mistakes from people that had been gone from the company a year or two years prior so this same said branch manager would always blame it on the people that's no longer there except she would not never make uh you know light of the people who are still working there today the mistakes they made because when you're friends with people on the job whether it's good or evil a house divided should never stand if it's evil and everybody like the evil in it it will not fall you understand it's not a good stand but it won't fall because everybody is happy in the mud they rolling around in, right? So, now the enemy knows probably four months into me working there. Now, this enemy herself, before she became manager, was on the same Section 8 program. But she got a little bit too big for her britches. She became manager. She no longer needed Section 8, which is very understandable because it's only a stepping stone. To you to get to the next destination right so when she heard that i had an opportunity to be in the four and one dollar match program if if i save for 10 months eighteen hundred and seventy five dollars they will match every dollar and it totals out to seventy five hundred dollars on top of the fifteen thousand seeing the enemy will try to set you up and snare you and cause you to lose your job to keep you from trying to get your inheritance right so they will blackball you they will shun you they will go behind you and make it look like you're not doing your job they will have an attitude against you because you have something to look forward to besides your paycheck every week you have bigger things going on in your life you understand what i'm saying they have resentment because they didn't go through the program knowing they too are struggling because not only are they branch manager they still work at walmart on the side so how are you gonna have two jobs enemy and cause me to lose one that's be not ignorant of satan's devices lest he gains advantage on you second corinthians 2 and 11 so let's move forward in this story because i've shown to you how co-workers in life and online can hinder you from your inheritance 
can reject you for whatever reason, can blackball you, can hate on you, can resent you and reject you. But we're moving forward because they rejected the chief cornerstone. And um, stay tuned if you want to know who that is. Now we're moving into number three. Oh, yeah. The wickedness of the world. Hi, I'm back. Now we're talking about the wickedness of this world, y'all. Honey. Sweet tea and lemonade as well. <laughs> yes. Wickedness seated in high places, honey, will block your ass. If you out here teaching and preaching the truth on behalf of God's people, you know they tell lies. You know they just seated in high places, but they're not really godly. They could lay their hand on their childhood Bible and swear to do right by this country and yet be the most antichrist I've ever seen with my own two eyes. And yes, I'm talking about your president, Donald Trump. I said your president because see... Just like in the Bible, God says, I want to give you a king. And all Israel kept saying, we want to pick our own king. We want to pick our own king. Go read Samuel, the kings. Go read one of them books in the Old Testament. Do some homework. Take a load off of me so I can keep hearing from God giving you this message. You do the research. I'll hear from God. I'll give it to you and you go verify Trust and verify, as Pastor J. Wilson would say. Trust and verify. Alright, now. I was on Twitter. Back in... Let's just say the first reign of another Antichrist. See, I told you the devil would be black or white in Obama. And President Obama then... 44 <laughs> was doing all kind of wicked stuff in the White House. You understand what I'm saying? And outside of the White House. And I was trying to get his attention. So I was like, you know, anybody that say or mention Christ as we come to know, he is Muslim, right? And had an agenda. But anybody that say they love Christ and they love the Lord and they would want to know why Easter and the resurrection the most powerful day in the world, right? That God showed his enemy he can raise someone from the dead, right? And ascend them back to heaven where he is, right? I don't think many gods can do that, right? Proves he's the one true God, right? So I'm hitting the White House up on Twitter. Somewhere back in 2014, 15, 16... I don't know. And I kept going hard. Going hard. And the Obamas was ignoring me. They was like, oh, that black bitch crazy. Let her have her way. She probably making a point, but nobody wants to get into it spiritually. They want to keep church and state separate, right? So then your president now come in number 45, and I keep hitting up the White House Twitter. <laughs> They blockity block 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 my ass. <laughs> the chief cornerstone as well. They ain't want to have nothing to do with me and Christ. They ain't care about the resurrection and neither do some of y'all. The Bible says cast down every imagination that highly exhausts itself against the word of God. Right? And bring it into captivity, into subjection, under the feet, under the word of the Most High God. I'll put that Bible verse in right here for you, okay? I won't leave you hanging on that. <laughs> but wickedness seated in high places will reject you. Look at the queen. The Bible told the children of Israel to go ahead, right? And keep their bloodline pure. And what do the queen do? Help sell y'all off into slavery. So she can keep her bloodline pure. Mm -hmm. And on that note. I got to let David Ruffin sing for y'all right here. And then, 
So now the queen tried to keep her bloodline pure, but if you do the research, there was some illegitimate bastard childs she was having over there. She was burying them in the parking lot outside of and away from Buckingham Palace until they got found a couple of years back or so ago that she had Ill 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 illegitimate children running around over there in Buckingham Palace. Like some of y'all is illegitimate out here running behind other gods and worshiping evil and devil instead of the one true God. Mm -hmm. So wickedness will blockity block you, will blackball you, will hinder you, will set snares and traps for you, of course. So these are three things I'm trying to teach you what rejection is. Honey, listen, if what y'all trying to do to me on YouTube and on these social media platform sites, if you think this is hurting somebody, it's actually helping me because I was able to come forward and tell my testimony, okay? And that's all I can do. Silver and gold, I may not have none. But the word of God I'm willing to share with you. It is absolutely free, but if you think my personal testimonies, if you think the way I convey it, if you like what I'm saying, has moved your spirit and you feel led to give, my Cash App is on the bio homepage of this channel. Please feel free to use it. Hell, they selling the Bible and half of the world ain't even reading that and they still making money off of it. But yeah, I know five to ten of y'all come to my live chats, come to my morning reads, come to my 5 p.m. services, and y'all hear what thus saith the Lord. And if the word is moving you not to be like these people in the world who reject people, who deny people, who cause people to lose their inheritances for their own wicked greed and selfish desires just to see you not do well, on whatever platform it is you have, whatever job you have, whatever marriage you're trying to uphold and honor, how you're trying to raise your children, excuse me, how you're trying to raise your children, opposition. So, I want to share with you a Bible verse and stay tuned. Here it is, alright? I think you're going to enjoy it and I think you're going to like the rest of this video. Stay tuned. Alright, so now the Bible verse I'd like for you all to turn to with me is Matthew 21 and 42. Yeah, I know y'all like, why does she have Bob Marley on here? Why does she worship Bob Marley? Why does she love Bob Marley so much? I don't worship Bob Marley, but Bob Marley worshiped the one true Jah. He called the same Yah I call. And he sung about suffering. He sung about the oppression. He sung about the way he can set God's people free. His people, our people. And I love that about him. And. I remember watching a documentary on Bob Marley and he says you have to look out into the world and see someone as the Messiah, as the Christ who look like you. And I see Bob Marley looking like me. I see how he used his music in the, in the positive vibrations that he carried. And those songs of redemptions and just being that buffalo soldier. Knowing that if the cap fit, I should wear it. And if it don't, I should not. Knowing that there's a rat race out here in this world. Knowing that they rejected the cornerstone. And I remember the story of Bob Marley saying, because you know, he was from the white race of the European Caucasian man, the Marleys. And this man used to go around and used to have property and fields and stuff like that in Jamaica. And got with Bob Marley's 16 year old then mom and had Bob and Bob was about 17 and went to his people who had money and said look I'm trying to do my music I need money to get a vehicle so I can get my music around and they rejected him and Bob went to the studio and wrote a song called the cornerstone based off of this Bible verse right here and it's in Matthews 21 
verse 42. But you know I like to give you a backdrop. So I'll read a verse or two before and maybe a verse or two after. So you could see why Christ always said what he said. It's not just enough to get the one Bible verse. It's enough to get a little bit before and a little after. So we have Matthew 21 verse 42. And it says, let's go to 41. Then they say unto him, he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandsmen, which shall render him the fruits in their season. 42, Christ saith unto them, did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. 43. Christ is still speaking. Therefore say I unto you. The kingdom of God shall be taken from you. And given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. 44. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whosoever it shall fall it shall grind him to powder. And the song goes a little like this. The stone that the builder refused will always be the air kind of stone. Let me hear you say the song that the builder refused will always be the air kind of stone. Now, I kind of hope and pray that I have proven to you why I rejoice in being blockity block 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 and the chief cornerstone because we know that the things that people refuse are the things that they should use you understand me can you hear me my message for today would be, don't gain the whole world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. And let me expound on this. It is a biblical statement that Bob would have said in his lifetime, throughout his lifetime. And it's something that I say to you today. Do not chase fame, clout, fortune by blockity block, 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 blocking the the uh, 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 me and the messiah the word of god this channel other channels like it who's conveying the truth because when you blockity block 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 the the chief cornerstone then god may block you Shalom. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already done so, please give me a subscription by hitting the red box that says subscribe and the bell icon next to it so that you could be a part of the Wink Squad's notification gang and be a Wink Star so that you too can shine bright in the midst of the blockity block 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 blocks in the black ball and in the in the snares and the traps of the enemy. Peace.